we're back with Buzz on Business. We have Pat Carlson from Carlson Funeral Home. Pat, Hi, Pat. good morning. Hi, how are you guys? Doing great. Good, how are you? Good, I'm wonderful today. Wonderful. Good. What, good can, you, what can you tell us about uh, Pat Carlson for a moment? Pat Carlson for a moment. I've been in town since I was 10, so that puts me here quite a while now. <laughs> uh, graduate uh, is uh, most of my family from Brunswick High School. Wow. Uh, went through uh, some college uh, before I went to uh, enter into the family business by going to a mortuary school in Cincinnati, which was a uh, wonderful town uh, to be in, to uh, uh, go to mortuary school. It's uh, one of the better or older schools so they have all their mm, ins and outs pretty well covered. Uh, at that time mm, we did not have a bachelor degree to uh, to rely on. Uh, today it is a bachelor degree in mortuary science. Uh, I've lived in town all the time that I've uh, since 10 years old I guess I should say and uh, I've enjoyed growing up with the community. I've been active in the community in many uh, many different clubs. Uh, some of the things that are involved with the city uh, I've been involved with uh, prior to old fashioned days of Bicentennial Committee and so forth. I enjoyed growing up here in town and when we went through our sesquicentennial. Um, the people in Brunswick have always been friendly people and Pat's always enjoyed that part. Uh, letting people out instead of uh, uh, passing them by when they need to exit their driveways and so forth. It's a, it's a nice, courteous town. Um, it's grown up quite a bit from what it was, but uh, to appreciate its growth uh, and to see the high school grow to what it is has been, been good for Pat and as well as his family. Uh, I raised my family here and uh, they uh, uh, enjoyed the community as well. Um, look forward to many years yet uh, in the community. Wonderful. So that's Pat. <laughs> that's a lot of Pat. That, that is. That is a wonderful history. Well, tell us about your business. You told us about yourself. Now tell us about Carlson. Okay. Uh, I've been in the uh, funeral business as my family has. Uh, I'm going to, I'm in my 39th year as a license and uh, our business has uh, grown over the years uh, through obviously hard work, uh, but when the community has grown, we've tried to meet the needs, and that means ambulance service as well as a funeral home. So the business uh, basically has come right along from the infancy and smallness to uh, a larger development. What would you say is your favorite part of your business? What do you like? What, what makes you feel? I think it's probably the, the uh, pride of the development uh, that we've been a part of in the community and seeing something uh, come to a little more volition than what we started as uh, in a small, small town that, that it was at the time. Sure. I think that the, the pride of the community that we're doing things and we have so many programs uh, that were not available before at all. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned you've you've been in this 39 years. How long has Carlson Funeral Home been active? We've had a license in the state since uh, April of 1952. Uh, we've been in town since 61. Previous to that we were in Defiance County which is northwest Ohio mm -hmm. for 10 years. That, that is some, some time of being in the, uh, in the field. Um, you talked about products and services that you had. How has the economy affected your business? Like everything else, uh, we, are, we are part of the food chain, if you will, and we needed to uh, adjust our uh, services and expand the uh, cremation venues that we had available for those that uh, we're finding things difficult uh, and all maybe not their first choice 
uh, it was still a choice there where dignity could be presented. So the economy has forced people into different things that maybe they wouldn't have done 10 years sure, ago. Sure, sure. And, and you talk about um, op uh, options. Do you see a lot of people doing pre-need, pre-planning, especially with the baby boomer generation, per se, coming up? The pre-need programs in most funeral homes like our own is a nice way uh, for people to mm, make sure that they have things in order the way that they want them, to take the economic burden off of the children, the decision making, all the way from soup to nuts. Sure. It has been a blessing and families that are left behind to uh, to bury their or have services for their family member appreciate the fact that that person cared so much about them that they didn't have them make the decisions or go through the financial of that. Sure. Wonderful. How many, real quick, how many people do you have working there? Well, at the Brunswick office, um, I would suppose that there's a dozen, uh, dozen people. In all, with the three funeral homes and the ambulance, we're a little over 50 people. All right. Well, very good. Pat, this is a wrap up on this part. Uh, I want to thank you for coming in and sharing your time and story about Carlson Funeral Home. Very thank good. You. I really appreciate being able to uh, be here with you. Wonderful. Thanks. Thank you. That's it for this segment for uh, Buzz on Business. We'll be back.